I wanted to join the infantry because that was really my idea of what soldiering was about, being at the sharp end. Tigers, for me, were a, a logical choice. They've got a, a strong reputation as a fighting unit, and I think for any infantryman, that's the kind of thing you want to look out for. really proud of our history. We are England senior regiments of the line, dating all the way back to the, the 16th century. The Princess of Wales' Royal Regiment was formed in 1992, which was an amalgamation of the Queen's Regiment and the Royal Hampshire Regiment, and we earned the nickname the Tigers due to spending 21 years on broken service in India. The Tiger is an aggressive emblem. And that is a symbol of all of our history. All of our soldiers, regular and reserve, they're all very proud of our heritage, who we are, where we're from, and also that professional excellence. Our links to our counties are particularly important to us. We recruit from the southeast of England. The majority of those who serve with us are all from that area. So we all have a lot in common, and we tend to gel together, and that breeds confidence. It's a family regiment. My dad used to serve. Both my uncles used to serve, both my brothers have joined, and I've got a stepbrother that's joined as well. We're really fortunate that we have a very diverse set of roles within the infantry, so we probably have more options and more variety, more opportunities than many other infantry battalions. Our first battalion is currently in Germany and they concentrate on armoured warfare based around the warrior fighting vehicle. The armoured infantry is at the forefront of the British Army's deployable capability. We would provide the central point of that deployable force. And we're on a readiness cycle that prepares us to go and fight if required anywhere in the world. Obviously it's easier to attack a position if you've got armour capability. You use the Warrior fighting vehicle exactly as it says. It is a fighting vehicle with 30 mm rod and cannon, boosted by the 7.62 chain gun as well. Not many people are going to get in the way of that. But the key thing about it is in the back, we have an infantry section. It gives us huge flexibility to be able to deal with pretty much any enemy situation we come up against. At the moment, the 2nd Battalion are based in Cyprus as a regional standby battalion. That means that we're uniquely placed because we're acclimatised to the Cypress heat. Ready to undertake any sort of operation that may be required, in particular in the Middle East or North Africa. So we're on call 24 hours a day to support any potential military intervention operations. We're a light roll infantry battalion. So light roll infantry basically means we operate with what we can carry. And that's one of our key strengths, that we don't have logistical burden that would come as part of a heavier battle group, so we can be moved quickly at short notice. The 3rd Battalion of the Tigers is the reservist battalion based in the south of England. In the last couple of years, the reserves have really come to the forefront of everything that we're trying to do. And the 3rd Battalion has been setting the way in reserve and regular integration. As a battalion, we have uh, blokes augmenting the regular force and supporting regular forces on operations. We are paired with a regular battalion, which at the moment is the 1st Battalion of the Royal Anglian Regiment. Effectively, the relationship works in a reciprocal way. Uh, we support them and they support us. It gives me opportunities to learn various skills that you just wouldn't get in the civilian sector. In the Tigers, there's the opportunity for travel, adventurous training and also the personal development that you'll get. I recently went to Mongolia and I conducted training with various different armies in a, in a peacekeeping exercise. So that was a very unique experience. The best experience I've had is a, a recent exercise my company did in uh, Belize. It was a jungle warfare exercise. A great opportunity for the whole company to do something that we've never done before. Recently I've done adventure training in Morocco, which was good. A couple of weeks out there climbing Mount Tukal. I'm a skydiver. I went with the battalion to California for two weeks. That was awesome. That was probably the best thing I've ever done. And then here in Cyprus, we've got the water sports centre that we can use every day uh, if you want to. It's all free as well. 
And I've also got a week coming up where each day you do a different sport. So like you'll do mountain biking, rock climbing, kayaking. They'll just 100% push you forward with your sports, basketball, football, boxing, skiing. It's good for your body, it's good for your health, and it, you have to keep fit to be in this job. We're infantry, so we're going to be the ones that are first on the ground. So we need to be fit so we can complete the battle without anything holding us back. Training's exceptionally important. It's what motivates people. We train to do the basics the best we can. If you can do the basics right, you can adapt to anything else. And the quality of training that I've received, it's, it's fantastic. We keep our skills honed with realistic training, with realistic live firing, realistic use of equipment. So the, the attack that we did on Tuesday involved two of our fighting vehicles being used as a platform to enter a village and then conduct a house clearance. And that's fairly typical of the kind of training that we look to achieve because they're the kind of operations and environments that ultimately we probably will find ourselves in. The best thing I say is probably the opportunities to actually put that training to good effect on operations. The main reasons why I joined the Army was to serve on operations and particularly with the battalion having a huge wealth of operational experience. Both the 1st and the 2nd Battalion, supported by members of the 3rd Battalion, have been heavily involved fighting in operations in, in many environments. Over the last 10 years, we've had operations in the Balkans, Northern Ireland, Iraq, Afghanistan. It's the performance on operations that, that stands out the most. We are one of the most decorated regiments in the British Army. We've been heavily involved in both Iraq and Afghanistan, and a number of our recent awards have come from both of those conflicts. The most prominent one, of course, being Sergeant John Sabahari, who won the Victoria Cross. I'm honoured to receive the Victoria Cross. I would say on behalf of the regiment, because we work together as a team. I didn't do it by myself. And with all the guys being there, I would not have been sitting here proudly wearing a Victoria Cross. So I am wearing it for the guys to sit here and just think about what we've been through together. It's amazing. The regiment places a lot of stock in the people. And that's, that's first and foremost. So we try to look after all of our people at whatever rank and, and whatever their role and responsibility. If you join the regiment, you don't just join an excellent infantry battalion. You know that you're going to join and become part of the family. It's a very close-knit environment. It's incredibly social. You meet really good friends. I've got friends within the Tigers that have been friends of mine for the last 19 years that I would class as almost brothers to me. I definitely think the future's bright for the Tigers. We've got a good reputation. We've built on that reputation on many occasions through operations. But we're forward-leaning, we don't dwell in the past, and we're welcome to change and innovation. We're constantly looking for the future, and we're constantly looking for ways to make things better and secure our position as part of that forefront of the British Army's response. I strongly believe that we're the best infantry regiment out there. It's a great privilege to have a tiger on my arm. I've been able to go out and be seen amongst the army wearing our colours is, is a particularly proud thing for us. Well, that means everything. I'm proud to be a tiger. I wouldn't change it for the world. What else can we ask for? I will always look back on my time as a tiger with nothing but the utmost pride.